What's going on, everyone? Merry Christmas to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test over this holiday, flu, RSV, pneumonia, anything, I really hope you tested negative. And I just hope you're having a safe and happy holiday so far here on this Monday. Happy Monday to everyone. Welcome to the Christmas edition of the Pandemic update for christmas december 25th 2023 that's right this is now our fourth christmas in a pandemic and this year my christmas wish for you all is can we please end this pandemic and also i wish that we could have clean air i wish for clean air an end of these viruses and for everyone to stay happy healthy and safe if you are new to my channel this is where we do the daily pandemic update today being the christmas day update there's not going to be a lot of data today but we're going to overlook a little bit of data i'm not going to fill you with too much doom and gloom for today after all it's christmas it's supposed to be a happy occasion and if you do not celebrate christmas that's fine too happy holiday to whatever holiday you celebrate so if you're new to my channel if at the end of this video Give it a thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe down below if you want to see more content like this. As I just said, clean air is my biggest wish for next year, and also better health. Everyone deserves better health. I hope everyone has better health going forward, and of course, an end to this god-awful COVID pandemic, which is just destroying so many lives, and I have to show this to you. BNO did release their weekly numbers yesterday. I wasn't certain whether it was going to be today, tomorrow. They did it a day early. That's great. Here's the weekly COVID numbers for the past week. New cases, 301,138. That's just estimated. Mind you, wastewater data would suggest it's much higher than that. We know it's much higher than that. Average weekly cases, 255,913. That's up by 26,483. States reporting 50 out of 50. As you know, they do do estimates from some states. In the hospital, it's gone up big time. 19,872. That's up by 1,639. 1, In the ICU, that increased by 171 to 2,073. New deaths. We are now approaching... 1,800 COVID deaths in one week, 1,785. And you're probably thinking, well, in the early days of the pandemic, it was a lot higher. Yeah, I know that. Remember this, not all deaths are being counted correctly. So this number could be higher because some people are not being marked down on the death certificate as COVID. And number two, we're still on the upside of cases. So let's go back to that first number. Cases rose yet again by another 26,000, and already deaths are rising. Remember, my friends, deaths are the last lagging indicator. So at this point, it seems very clear that we are going to go over 2,000 deaths in a week in January, and probably higher than that. The death average is now 1,612. Deaths continue to go up. This is now, they've gone up for several weeks i mean several weeks in a row 15th straight week in a row over 1000 new deaths during the past week there were eight, almost 1800 so during the same 15 week period over 22000 deaths now that's just ridiculous it's still going up it's it, it's it's insane and this year's not done we have one more week to go so there's going to be more deaths added the cases are insane it's going over 300,000 cases in a week that number is going to go up even higher on future updates you can see here reports are from 30 states estimates are from 20 states now we come over to this hop up world they had a little surprise for us hop up world has a national prevalence it says ho 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 look what santa got us as the holidays roll in and respiratory illnesses surge across the country a daily national prevalence update is here so they do have an update for today and right now, they estimate the number of people infected with COVID in the United States. Infectious people with respiratory illness right now. Six million people with COVID. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of people that they're estimating right now. Flu, just uh, 1.2 million. RSV, just about three quarters of a million. Uh, maybe 750,000. Just over 750,000. That's a, or 780,000, I should say. That's a lot of people infected. And when you add this all up together, 
that gives you a number somewhere around 8 million people with just these three viruses. And there could be other viruses. There could be pneumonia cases, hepatitis. I mean, there's a lot of different viruses ongoing right now. I mean, I say hepatitis because it's showing up in the wastewater. We're going to take a look at a, a little bit of wastewater in just a moment. Taking a look now at this, and you can see here, COVID-19 variant JM.1, as you know, or in case you did not know, is now the leading cause of infections in the United States. And that is very true. The JN.1 variant, as you can see here, leads the way at 44.2%. HV.1, 22.1%. So, yes, um, JN.1 is clearly the leader. And without a doubt, because CDC data lay, lags, it could be over 50% now. So, we're starting to gain dominance of that JN.1 variant. Walgreens, no update for today. I don't even need to refresh this. It's Christmas Day. They're not going to update today. Current positivity from them is 29.2%. We will hopefully get an update tomorrow or Wednesday. Let's take a look at some of those wastewater scan sites now. We'll go to each region of the United States. Let's start off with the Northeast. How about we come to Boston and see what's going on in Boston, Massachusetts. Are you in Boston for Christmas? Well, here's the current virus levels. COVID is high right now it's really high it's rising rsv is high and rapidly rising remember rsv first rose in the south then it made its way up to the north while it's peaking across the country that's because the south is dropping for rsv right now the northeast states however rsv is still rising you can clearly see that in the wastewater activity coming out of boston influenza a dropped a little bit starting to rise a little bit influenza b it's low, but it's also it has been showing signs of rising. HMPV, not much of an issue. However, norovirus is now rapidly rising. That's not something that we like to see. And look at this. Remember I mentioned hepatitis A just a few moments ago? Yeah, hepatitis A. Wow, really prevalent in the Boston area right now. Mpox is low in this area. All right, coming down here, let's do another northeast site. How about Stamford, Connecticut? I want to know what's going on. This is one of the newer sites. Started back in November. COVID, it's been rising. Leveled off a little bit. RSV was rising. Now it's starting to drop. Influenza A is, wow, rapidly rising. Influenza B, starting to show signs of a drop. Uh, HMPV is high. Dropping oh, just a little bit. And norovirus was rising rapidly. Now it's leveled off a little bit. And no Mpox detection at this time. Continuing our little tour here, let's make a stop off down here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Let's see what's going on there. COVID, it's starting to rise again, and it already was high. RSV is high, and wow, it's starting to rise even faster. Influenza A is high, dropped but leveled. Influenza B is low, but it is rising. That could go to medium or moderate pretty soon. HMPV, it's at moderate levels. It's low, actually, I should say, but it is rising. Norovirus is rapidly rising and already high. No Mpox detection at this time. If Christmas Day brings you to Florida, here's what's going on down in Miami. We have not taken a look at Miami in a while. Let's go to the southern Miami area. And, oh boy, COVID is high, dropping a little bit. RSV is high, eh, flat. Influenza A is high, rising. Influenza B, not much of a problem. Then we come down to hepatitis. There were some detections earlier. There are none now, and no Mpox detections at this time either. All right, continuing our way, let's go west of it. How about we come and check and see what is going on in Texas? How about specifically we take a look at Dallas, Texas, and see what's going on there? You can see, look at this. COVID's actually dropping at this 270,000 population Dallas site. RSV is still high. It's dropping a little bit. Influenza A is dropping. Influenza B is starting to rise now. Norovirus is medium but dropping, so hmm, interesting. But look at this. We see a detection of Mpox on December 15th in the Dallas Fort Worth area. And mind you, that's just one Dallas site. There are also other Dallas sites we could look at as well, and they may show different things for COVID. Let's go up to the Great Lakes. We've got to be fair. How about today we go over to how about South Bend? Indiana, what is going on there? I don't think we've looked at this in a very long time. Wow, COVID just continues to rise there. It's almost rising a bit faster. RSV is high. It dropped a little bit, but it's still high. Influenza A and B are low. 
And then we come down here to MPOX. No detections of that at this time. And no detections of hepatitis A, at least not in the uh, short term. Now let's come out to the West Coast, as I have to refresh this because, as you know, it wouldn't be a wastewater checkup without wastewater scan freezing up on me. And coming out here to the West Coast, we are going to do a couple stops out West. First off, let's see what's going on in the Las Vegas area. Look at this. COVID continues to rise. Most recent update dropped a little bit. It's high. RSV is high. Influenza A is high. Influenza B is high. Norovirus is high. And no Mbox detection. There were some December detections of hepatitis A. Let's continue our way to the west, and let's do two more stops, shall we? Let's come down and see what's going on in the Los Angeles metro area. Let's just go out to the middle one. We'll see. We can see here, not a calculator for COVID, but it's been rising. RSV's been rising. Influenza A's rising. Influenza B dropped. And hepatitis A, there's been detections and no detections of Mpox at this time. And can we do anything up in the state of Washington? Yes, we can. We can go just to the north of Seattle and see what's going on there. We can see COVID, medium, dropped, starting to rise a little bit. RSV overall trajectory has been up, although they recently had a decent-sized drop. Influenza A and B are low, and at this time, no Mpox detection. So there's a little bit of a wastewater update for today. Philadelphia had 752 EMS incidents on Christmas Eve. Then we come over here. Let's see if there's any EMS call volume. Oh my. Yes, Christmas Day. 14 EMS calls right now on going in Montgomery County, and I'm seeing some bad calls. Not one, but two cardiac arrests. General weakness. Another general weakness. Alter mental status. Yeah, there's some things going on. We don't like seeing cardiac arrests. That's one of the worst possible calls. And uh, Chester County, Pennsylvania. Wow. Cardiac arrest here as well. I'll tell you what. Personally, I've been hearing a lot about people with cardiac arrest again. It's starting to go up. When COVID cases go up, uh, it seems like several, within a couple months later, the cardiac arrest calls start going. Now, I don't know if there's a connect. There could be. There's several studies saying COVID does cause heart problems, but I don't know if it's happening that sudden. But it just seems as if there has been a lot of cardiac arrest lately. It seems like it's, it comes in waves for some reason. Just don't know why, but it's not a good thing. Respiratory difficulty. And let's go over to New Jersey. New Jersey did update today, although be it only 59 out of 70 hospitals. So we're missing 11 hospitals. And yet they still have 721 hospitalizations. We have to suspect the real number is likely well over 800. 20 people on a ventilator and 97 people in the ICU. Again, all these numbers are likely under. And discharges, there were 135 discharges. So 135 people got to get out of the hospital for Christmas Day in the state of New Jersey. No update out of New York State today or any of the other states, so that is really all I have for you guys today. If you celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Do not forget to put your air purifiers on today. You really want to have them running today. It is super, super important. And again, hey, today is Christmas Day. Let's not make it all be about doom and gloom. Yes, the pandemic did not end. Yes, the viruses are still spreading today. But hey, let's remember our family and loved ones who we have today, and let's make the best of it, okay? And let's just try and have a good day. You know, forget about this COVID business. For, I mean, don't forget about the precautions. Please be cautious, but let's just forget about reading all the bad news in the world just for one day. I gave you close to 15 minutes here of an update. Just take that, go on, enjoy the rest of this day, because guess what? Tomorrow's another day. We know tomorrow we're going to be back to reality. We'll probably see some news stories again. And, hey, worry about that tomorrow, not today. Everyone have a joyful and Merry Christmas. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. Share this with anyone who needs to see it. If you have a comment or something to say, leave it down below. And I will see you all again next time. Merry Christmas to all. And to all stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.